Hello, I'm Ben Miller, an orthopedic tumor surgeon here at the University of Iowa. I'm going to talk a little bit now about treatment of soft tissue sarcoma. Um, soft tissue sarcoma is a very rare cancer, but it's something that we see a lot of here at the University of Iowa. The treatment of this is primarily surgical, and when we think about how to treat an individual patient surgically, I think it's helpful to um, think about individual considerations by way of surgical margins. What are we trying to do um, in the operating room with each patient? I'm going to be going to this diagram a little bit. Um, basically what this represents is any portion of the extremity. This deepest structure would represent the bone. This large structure here, the tumor. This over here, the nerve. And these over here, blood vessels. Now there are three types of margins that we talk about in surgery. The first is an intralesional margin. What this implies is that the surgery is a direct shot to the tumor itself, and basically what we try to do is scrape out the tumor. Um, we don't try to take the tumor out as a whole. Um, the implication of this is that there is always microscopic tumor left behind. This is not ideal for any treatment of cancer. We essentially use it only in benign conditions and occasionally in cancer that spread to multiple different places. But in the surgical treatment of sarcoma, this is uh, rarely the correct answer. The ideal margin that we would like to have is what's called a wide margin. And a wide margin implies that the entire tumor is taken out with an area of normal tissue, meaning that in the surgery itself, you don't see any evidence of the tumor at all. On this diagram, what this would represent is taking out the tumor with a cuff of normal tissue. And not only would the tumor come out, but you can see some of these vital structures, such as the nerve, blood vessels, and part of the bone would also have to be removed. Now, occasionally this is required, and we do need to do this, and we can certainly do it, and there's things that we can um, do postoperatively to mitigate some of the functional consequences, but certainly it's not ideal, and if there's a way to avoid it, we would like to do that. The way to avoid it is by employing what's called marginal margins. Now, what a marginal margin is, is we take the tumor out in its entirety, but we peel it off of these nerves, off of the bone, off of the blood vessels. The consequence of this is that theoretically there are small pieces of the tumor in what's called the reactive zone at the edge of the tumor itself. Now, if we did a marginal margin by itself, the chance of the tumor growing back in this area would be unacceptably high. The way we get around this is to commonly employ radiation treatments either before or after surgery. What the radiation treatments will do is basically sterilize this reactive zone. So any living tumor that's at the edge of the tumor mass itself will be killed with the radiation, allowing us to do a surgery immediately adjacent to the tumor, the bone, the blood vessels, and the nerve taking out in its entirety, preserving the function of the limb, and having a very minimal chance of the tumor growing back in the spot. Now, limb salvage surgery and soft tissue sarcoma is individualized to every patient, and this is certainly something that you and your provider will discuss around the time of diagnosis and prior to any surgical intervention.